What's up, y'all? This is MGovie, and it has been a little while since I have done a uh, 2K video play-by-play -play commentary. I think it's been about a week. And before I do the play-by-play -play commentary, I just want to say that I understand that most of y'all are subscribing to me purely for uh, 2K gameplay. But um, if you haven't, go ahead and you know watch my skits because they're they're 2K related, most of them. And I feel like most of y'all would enjoy them. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it. I'll have it annotated in like the top left or right. Pro screen, if you don't want to watch it, that's fine with me. That's cool. And also, I just wanted to give a huge thank you and shout out to 2K Prospect for my background. I hope y'all like it. Um, he made it for me for free. It was really cool of him. And um, if if you like 2K gameplay, if you like my channel, if you like, you know, I, IKC or QJB and people like that, be sure to check him out because he has quality stuff on his channel. And if you want to hit him up for a background, definitely hit him up. He makes great backgrounds, as you can see. And the background obviously means that I am partnered now. And yes, I am partnered by Yaush. Um, I'm pretty happy with who I partnered with. I really like the people over there. Uh, you know, the staff and all that. So I'm happy with the decision that I made. And I thank you guys for all the support that you guys have given me over the past, uh, you know, seven or eight months since I've been doing these videos. And, um... Is that all I had to say? Yeah, I think that's all I had to say. And I'll I'll have a 2K prospect 2K prospects channel uh, annotated and in the description, so you can check it out there. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I will be doing some more skits in the future, just because I enjoy doing them. Some of them will be real life, actually, so not even relating to video games. But that is beside the point because right now I am talking over video games. And this is game three of the playoffs, best of five series against the. Chicago Bulls and this is uh, another episode of my Cleveland Fantasy Draft Association and in this first game of this episode game three I figured out that Kevin Love could just abuse Al Horford because Al Horford is about the same size as Kevin Love and it seems like they both pretty much struggle on defense when they have either a player of the same size or a player a little taller than them but even though I was kind of abusing Kevin Love on a uh, on Al Horford and they couldn't defend it I was still getting blown out and by the third quarter I was trying to make a little bit of a run to come back Marshawn Brooks gets the nice end one to go down but this was gonna be an uphill struggle I mean even though it's at home they were still playing well and I just couldn't stop the the um, backcourt of Brandon Knight and Raymond Sessions I'm still saying the name wrong Raymond Sessions or something but I mean there's nothing I can do look at that play by Andre Blatch getting the offensive rebound off the second offensive rebound and it was just I mean, you got Daquan Cook making layups. It was just just a travesty. Travesty, my bad. A tragedy, travesty, whatever. And in the end, we ended up losing by 14 points, I think that is. Yep. And it was just a, a dismal effort taking the, the series to 2-1. and one. Uh, Not in our favor, in Chicago's favor. So, not a very good job for us. And Brandon Knight with 22 points. You can look at uh, their stats if you want to pause it. Nobody really stood out for me. And the stat that stood out for me in our loss was the 39% from the field. We're definitely going to have to shoot better if we want to win. And was Brandon Knight's two, 22 points too much for us? And would their backcourt be too much for us to handle? Would Chicago's backcourt be enough to knock us out of the playoffs? I sure hope not. And this was an elimination game. The series is 2-1. and one. Remember, it's best of five. So first of three games wins. And I was extremely nervous playing this game, but Kevin Love came out swinging. Literally. Look at the emotion on this guy's face. I mean, he's not going down without a fight. I'm not going down without a fight either. I'm on his side. And I was just pumped by all the emotion and passion that Kevin Love was playing with. It was inspiring while I was playing the game. And he pretty much single-handedly kept us in the game in the first quarter. He scored our first uh, five points. I think he had another basket right here actually Frederick Tucker I think no 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 Marshawn Brooks cuts to the basket and gets the dunk a nice pass actually from Frederick Frederick Tucker the rookie oh yeah and also I forgot to tell y'all that um well first of all hold on I didn't have to interrupt myself because look at this block from Josh Smith if that was even a block that was like a pass from Blatch look at that look at how high this guy is above the ground I mean this guy's head is at the rim it's above the rim you see that that's nasty. And poor Darko is just getting abused in the post. Oh, my dog's barking right now. I think someone's home. But anyways, I'm going to keep talking through it. Darko Milicic was just getting hacked. 
And I mean, Kevin Love was just getting hacked by Darko Milicic. I guess I could say he was getting hacked too because he was getting pushed around by Kevin Love. But basically, Darko Milicic just did not have his day. Kevin Love was just absolutely abusing him. And he was making these free throws. But while Kevin Love is going off, I'm just going to take a moment to say that I did actually upload my team to 2K Share. So if you want to if you want to play with this same team that you're seeing in this video, all you have to do is search um, MGOVA Cavs and then search, put a space, and then put S2 for Season 2. I think that's what it is. I'll, I might tell you in the next video or I'll annotate it because I'm not 100% sure on um, what it actually is. On, like what the you know the file type actually is I'm gonna look it up after this and annotate it but in this game we were pretty much dominating we were giving them uh, some of their own medicine they were able to come back a little bit but we pretty much had this game the whole time I don't think they had the lead so far and uh, the second quarter we were up by three now we're up by five and Raymond Sessions get that out of here you're not gonna make that shot ain't no shot clock cheese around here and Luke Snow's taking the ball up to court gives it to Frederick Tucker and look at that play. If those other two plays weren't enough to get him going, look at this. Frederick Tucker with the dunk. Amari Stoudemire dunk package. Get up, Al Horford. Just got dunked on, boy. Moving on into the end of the first half. Let's see what we're able to do. We call quick isolation with Frederick Tucker. He's going to his hot spot, his sweet spot. And the fadeaway is good. The whole time I knew that was good. Frederick Tucker is lethal from those fadeaways. And moving on into the second half of the second game of this episode, Kevin Love is continuing to abuse this team with the and one. And what I realized at this time was that the first quarter was pretty much Kevin Love dominating the, the Bulls. And then Frederick Tucker kind of picked up the slack. And then Kevin Love went at it again. Then Frederick Tucker went back. It was almost like a Dwayne Wade and LeBron on the heat kind of thing. Like they were back and forth, you know, Batman and Robin type thing. And I mean, they were both just getting it done in these, this elimination game. And as you can see, we're up by 10, double-digit lead. One of our few double-digit leads of this series. And, um, you know, they were not going to go down without a fight, though. Brandon Knight hitting that N1, and one and he converts from the free throw line, forcing us into a timeout. You know, not it's not too close of a game yet, but we don't want to take any chances of them being able to fully come back. And we actually put in our second-round pick. Blair the seven footer and he actually he didn't do that bad he's, he's kind of a decent defender but look at his free throws they're pretty funny he like shoots it and then kind of leans to the right look at it again he shoots it and then like leans it's pretty funny it's such a big man free throw I was like leaning while I, while I said leans that was pretty funny but um yeah it was, it was pretty much a two-man effort this game not saying that the rest of my team didn't do well but as you can see from the highlights it's clearly two men dominating and Frederick Tucker yet again pulling up and this is about the time when Frederick Tucker started to take over. Kevin Love had his moments like this one right here. Actually, Kevin Love missed that shot because they started to double team him. So that's why Frederick Tucker started taking over again. So it was like first quarter was Kevin Love. Second quarter was Tucker. Third quarter was Love. Then fourth was Tucker because by the fourth quarter, they just started double teaming him in the post. And there's really nothing I could do about it because he's not necessarily the best offensive player when there's bigger people on him. But look at that. Kevin voice crack. Sorry about that. But... Kevin Love setting the screen for Frederick Tucker, just reiterating my point. I think they have a combined like 57 points or something. I only have 69 points. You can see at the end of the game what their total was. But even though they were going so ham, Brandon Knight just tied the game with a three. We were able to take the lead again. But I mean, Jesus, this team, this team's backcourt will be the death of me. The only thing I could do to combat that was put um, Frederick Tucker on Brandon Knight. That's really all I could do. And this game at the end ended up being a really close, intense game. You saw Kevin Love with that nice layup. We're going to go back to Kevin Love in the post. And I thought that might have been a foul because he kind of got hit on the arm, but he still got the shot to go down. So we're up by four points. They were able to score again. And so with a minute to go, I'm just going to show you all the last minute and do a play-by-play -play without any editing. So you can see all of it live, what happened. How it all unfolded. Whether or not we got eliminated. This is it, people. If we lose this game, we're out of the playoffs. We're moving on to the next season. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to continue with this team next season. Just because it's too fun not to. So, we go to Kevin Love in the post. 50 seconds to go. All we want to do is win this game. We will not go down without a fight. So, Al Horford fouls us. And we're going to the free throw line. Kevin Love misses the first free throw. 
That is so unlike Kevin Love. That's not like him at all. He does not miss shots when the spotlight's on. When you have to make shots, he doesn't usually miss. So I was kind of caught off guard with that, but he made the second one. And look at the computer walking the dog on me. What are, are y'all doing? Y'all aren't winning this game. Y'all aren't walking the dog. Are you really walking the dog? Is this really happening? But Sessions gives it to Horford, and that's his game. Mid-range all day. So they take the lead back. 79-78. 40 seconds to go. Who will I go to in this situation? Last season, we lost Ray Allen. So this is kind of a up-in-the-air topic. But Frederick Tucker with the huge move. Looking like LeBron on that drive. What a nice play by Frederick Tucker. Able to just split the defense wide open and get that layup. So this is pretty much their last hurrah. If they take the lead, then it's my turn. But if they miss, this is it. All we have to do is defend for this last possession. And we will walk out of here, out of here with the victory, more than likely. Because we're going to hit our free throws. And Sessions is double teamed by a 6'10 player and a 6'7 player. And there's nothing he can do about it. We call a timeout, hit our free throws. And this is the last possession for them. Still down by three points. Let's see what they got. Al Horford taking a deep contested three. I'm actually lucky he didn't pump fake and then throw his body in me trying to draw the foul, if you know what I'm saying. But he didn't do it. And they, they missed the shot. And we end up winning the game. And moving on into the stats, Al Horford still did his thing. You know, stopping one player, another player is always going to be able to get himself going. We stopped Brandon Knight, but Al Horford got himself going. And look at that. Frederick Tucker and Kevin Love combined for 60 of our of our 82 points. And look at those free throw stats. But if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure to thumbs it up. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay lavish. I'm out of here, y'all. Deuces.